and we're back. And in the recommended tags for that last video, one of them was just a bunch of, I want to say kanji? I'm never sure though, because there's so many different freaking kinds. But it, it, it was something. Something Eastern that I'm not used to. I'm just looking at it, I'm like, is that Metroid Prime in Japanese? Or what? what is that? <laughs> Does this, does this lead anywhere? No, I messed up. Okay, let's let's uh, let's try the red one. Let's make the red one connect to something. I love how cool our morph ball looks now. Look at that. Yeah, that. That actually connects to something. Let me over. Now we just gotta connect it down here. One of the other things I forgot to mention was uh, I went for a walk today up to the gas station and I was horribly winded. It's only a few blocks down, it's not a huge walk. The trip there, I was panting, and by the time I got home, I was just horribly out of breath. My chest was in pain, and I was just like, holy crap. I knew I was getting out of shape, but I didn't think it was that bad. So that was a, uh, a bit of an eye opener. I'm going to um, start taking walks and try to do little exercises at home. I'm not going to the gym or anything. I don't. I never had the patience for that. Oh yeah, we can't get to the top until until later, so what the hell's in here? The way forward. Maybe I was wrong entirely. I'm gonna kill these guys because they can drop things for me. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Except for when you immediately lose it. See, so yeah, I am horribly out of shape, so I need to. Uh, I need to do something about that. <laughs> I did finally hand a resume over to that game store I want to work at, and uh, I don't know if there's like a big official owner or anything. I only ever see the the guys and girl that work there. Ooh. Come on, orange energy. I know these can have orange energies. I mean, missiles work too, but I really need the health. Eh. I don't, I don't trust this room at all. Um, yeah, I went in, handed in my resume, and the guy asks me, what's your favorite game and game series? I'm just like, I had to think about it for a moment. And I said, a tie between Okami and Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Oh, this is the one we have to fight, okay. This guy breaks out. Boom. And he gets the Chozo music, apparently. 
Elite Pirate. Phase on enhanced space pirate. Incredibly strong, armored, and well armed. Elite Pirates are potent foes. Their energy siphon systems absorb beam weapon shots, which they use to fuel a massive plasma artillery cannon. The nature of this system makes them vulnerable to concussion based weapons. Well armed, the Elite Pirate is effective in a close in close combat and at a distance. Their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion and quick attacks. Plasma Artillery Cannon. Unit has extreme thermal signature due to lack of shielding. Cannon connected to energy siphon systems. Not to argument performance. Avoid beam weapon fire when energy siphon unit is active. He holds out his hand. A few super missiles takes these guys down. You can target and destroy that, uh... The, the shoulder thing. And, yeah, just give them a few super missiles and they go down. They do a lot of damage if they do hit you, though. So you gotta watch out for that, but... These guys I'm more worried about, honestly. Where are they at? Ice Troopers! These are probably the easiest ones. And we already know what that's going to say. Oh dear. Oh dear. Freeze them. Missile. Where's your buddy at? I'm killing all these guys before I scan anything. It has to be a charge shot. Regular shots don't do anything. They just do damage. You know what, if he's just hanging out up there, I'll wait. Because if we kill him, the music will stop. Oh, and this room is full of lore, okay. Test subject Z something, hereafter referred to as Metroid Prime, it was recently discovered in a cavern by mining crews. It quickly dispatched the miners, but was eventually contained by security units and drones. Once contained, we were able to begin studies upon Metro Prime. The results have been astonishing. It is genetically similar to Metroids, albeit on a highly evolved level. It displays a limitless capacity for phase-on infusion and shows no phase-on base to generation whatsoever. It continues to grow in size, and while it has manifested some psychotic behavior, the cold fields we use to pacify remain effective. Authorization for advanced studies of Metroid Prime have been approved. The titular creature is finally getting some... Not really screen time, but we're hearing about it. Security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zevus. The, the alert concerns bioform Samus Aaron, also known as the Hunter. Subject is a female hominid. It is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a, power, a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on site, preferably in a fashion that will allow sa salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers Aaron to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. Plasma, you say? Space Marines we acquired. <laughs> We're letting... Them sit in the warehouse and our elite pirates on the other hand will put them to good use very soon. You see, Samus has an entire race fearing her. That's why those dang pictures and everything that people make of her just getting so easily overpowered and piss me off. Because <laughs> that wouldn't happen. <laughs> Damn. How? Continues to assault our holdings and Talon 4. Security has been compromised in multiple areas. Casualty rates are rising. Command has authorized a sizable bounty for the capture or termination of Aaron. Return to your field officers for details. <laughs> Keep trying, guys. Space part of Krypton data decoded. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aaron's arsenal based off of data acquired from her assaults in our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aaron's weapons against her. 
We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Force test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our morph ball prototypes. The science team wisely decided to move on afterward. <laughs> I mean, hey, they tried. Where is the last guy? Where you at, man? Oh. Oh, is it a, uh, invisible guy? Nope. Just moves real fast. Plasma tiller cans is complete. The weapons are fully functional, but a flaw has been discovered. Subpar thermal shielding gives them a high heat signature. Security alert. Computer systems compromised. Bow from Samus Aaron has cracked our systems. The hunter can access our system at will and is able to bypass most of our security programs. Use manual locking systems when possible. Because we can just scan everything. <laughs> Facility commands request for elite pirate transfer to security forces granted. Prepare units, all that, for field duty at once. Metroid aggression levels are rising. Be alert for any attempts by Metroids to escape from quarantine areas. Their energy absorption ability is not... Ew. So tired. I'm sorry. Reports on hunter activity are in. Analysis indicates that the hunter is using morph ball technology to infiltrate our facility. Recalibrate sensors to search for morph ball energy signatures. <laughs> Were it so easy? Oh man, so many red ones. There's so much lore in this room. Results are in from field studies on extinct bioform group Chozo. We believe that Talon 4 was once a stronghold in a great Chozo empire, brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all we need from this dead race, and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Man, what jerks. We are particularly interested in a number of curious Chozo artifacts we have been able to recover from a number of religious sites on Talon 4. These relics resonate with power, and yet we are unable to harness them in any way. The science team is attempting to fuse them together with Phazon, believing <laughs> that a link might exist between them. Wow, guys, come on. We know that these artifacts are linked to the Chozo Temple that blocks access to the Impact Crater. We have yet to crack this enigma, however. Command grows impatient regarding this matter. Results must be produced soon. Yeah. The giant mushrooms. Forgot about those. I catch the subject. A standard pirate unit is deployed in Metroid areas is not acceptable. <laughs> we have to fight one of those new drones. Metroid Prime continues to feed and grow ever larger in the impact crater caves. How did this tangle happen? Hold on. There we go. Okay. Its hunger knows no bounds and has begun to manifest unusual mutations since its breach. These include armor plating on its epidermis and mechanical outgrowths that generate defense screens. These screens render it invulnerable to most weapon systems, but a flaw in the mutation leads to increased vulnerability to certain weapons. It compensates for this by shifting the screens quickly. This latest development concerns security units greatly. They feel it's a matter of time before Prime corrects this defect and renders itself invulnerable to all weaponry. Containment would be nigh impossible if this were to occur. That's actually a big hint for when you actually fight the thing. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entity entities at Chozo Ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow, these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We will make them pay for such arrogance, or even for even ghosts can be destroyed. Fight them with science! Just like in Mother 3. Report any signs of ration rejection by elites at once. 
Increase phase on portion of lead pirate ration by 2%. Planetary stealth technology is back online. We have evaded detection by the battlecruiser Emmons. The brief lapse in planetary security caused by the crash of our frigate is over. Now we can concentrate our efforts on the hunter. The battle is on. Replacement of standard hatch covers continues. Steel covers will be replaced with cordite and bendesium covers in two decacycles. Still not gonna save you guys. We can break this soon. We can break cordite now. Subject metric prime's breach has been contained. Reports indicate that it sensed a large batch of raw phazon in the lab from within its stasis tank and broke through the glass. Glass. Using previously unsuspected strength. Besides consuming all of the phazon, Metro Prime has simulated several weapons and defense systems from fallen security units. It has suffered no ill effects from said assimilation. Indeed, it began to use its newly acquired weapons against us. Once we pacified it, we were unable to remove the assimilated gear without threat to Metro Prime. The gear is now an integral part of its body. Command is intrigued by its newfound ability and has ordered further study to commence at once. So these guys are par partially to blame for why Metro Prime is such a jerk to fight. Oh yeah, this room. How do we do this room again? I've forgotten. Gas! And puffers. Oh, that's not it. Oh wait, can I even do it now? I might have to come back when we have power bombs. Yeah, I can't even do it now. Okay. I just want to scan. No, these are still just puffers. Eventually we fight plated puffers. Which are the same, but have armor and require a missile. Metrics in the initial batch and matured hunter phase. Hunters are actually easier than default Metroids, because... I don't remember why, just because. <laughs> nice late part units... So he's accelerating in non-frigid areas. Not responding to synthetic sustenance. We have reason to believe they only gain nourishment from active bioenergy sources. All magnetic rail system access must be approved by security. I think we need the power beam for the ones in here. Nope, that's a wave beam. I am going to die before we get to the, uh... Before we get to the power bombs. Uh, that's not gonna be good. We haven't saved since I started these videos. Stop! Oh, he fell down. Crap. Pew. These guys actually can't get to us just yet. We gotta open that force field there. Sorry for the riveting nature of this video, by the way. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Equipping volunteers for advanced weapon training. Ah, there's another Bendesium thing. So many things we need power bombs for. That I can't actually do anything with at the moment. Recon teams are searching for the Hunter's gunship. Sophisticated cloaking device beyond our capabilities, aside from dumb luck. We may never discover its location. We must contain or eliminate Aaron. Failure to comply. <laughs> it's funny, because we're just right outside their crash frigate. <laughs> Security breaches in multiple areas. Unauthorized usage of resources continues. Patterns suggest these resources are being stolen by the Hunter. Increased monitoring of all... <laughs> we're jacking their stuff. 
Uh, I'm gonna cut it again. One second. 